Happy Holidays from the Insider Show. And Eric, what do we have here? Well, Steve the Painter is not only our painter, he's also our tile expert, and you'll see he's going to be our Christmas elf. But anyway, um, he's just going to give us a little demonstration and a rundown of how he lays and what it takes to lay tile. It's what we all been waiting for Two time to take a stand Hands strong Keep you moving along Keep you moving up Move it up Move it up Bound gone Till the wall on gone You got them giving up Get, 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 give it up Come on, come on Don't let it slip away ready to give a demonstration on how he lays tile. So he has his whole array of tools here and he's just going to kind of explain how he uses them and what they're for. So um, let's start with this thing. What is this? This is your all-purpose tile cutter. It's a slide cutter. Uh, we've already got, there's a bracket here that we can set your measurement for how wide your cut is. And all you really do, get it in, make sure it's square against the back piece with firm pressure, slide forward, Pop it one time with the handle, and now you have your two cuts that you would if you, you use if you're doing an offset or whatever dimension you so need. So that doesn't even really cut it. You're just it just breaking. scores it. It just scores it at the top and breaks the, the sheen, the finish, and then the way the handle's made, it puts pressure on both sides of, of a score line, and that's what snaps well, it. I went ahead and made my pre cuts for the ones that I knew it before I got here. It was going to be two and a half inches, you know, to go around where we're going to build out the window frame. Um, and I'm using these 316 inch spacers here at the corners. And these are kind of handy little gadgets with an X to go in the corner and you flip them over and there's just two points sticking up where you can go on any, any, uh, any regular joint. But it keeps everything nice and level. Uh, speaking of which, I throw my level on the level, it bounces up against the edges and you can't see it but I can and that's right between the lines where I want it. So, we're keeping it level as we go. The window is where it is. I'm about ready to put in the uh, uh, mosaic border and then I'll cap it off with one more full layer. It's a dry powder mortar. It's basically uh, a Portland cement based type of mortar. Mix it up with water. You want to get a consistency kind of like peanut butter. When you go after it with your quarter inch notch trowel, you want to hold the trowel on your concrete underlayment board at a 90 degree angle so that you've got a full quarter inch high ridge that you're traveling on. If you come in at an angle like this, you're not putting enough mortar down. The idea being that you get a nice bed of mortar with those ridges. When you set your tile in the mortar, you get good contact across the entire tile. So we're ready to put the mortar on this wall. And we've got the uh, nylon mesh reinforcing tape in the corner that we put up first. really all there is to it. I wouldn't put too much adhesive on ahead of myself because then the mortar will set up and it's just a matter of lining them up, pressing them in. Handy to have a little painter's five way or a similar tool for fine adjustments. Make sure you get good contact slap and you continue on up the wall. They do want to slide. Gravity its not just a good idea, it's the law. Things will slide. Your spacers, the hard spacers, keep them from sliding down so you maintain the same grout line all the way around. Pop a spacer in. Get a second spacer ready. Drop it down, get the other spacer out of the way from that wall, and make sure you've got a good press. We've got the mosaic. We're going to use two rows, utility knife, and the back of these guys, these are just spots of blue. Uh, some of them have a whole mesh, doesn't really matter, same thing. Cut through it, 
and they go right into your mortar. Now you want to be gentle with them, keep them flat, keep them smooth. And the more adhesive that oozes up in the middle, the more you have to clean out before you grout. And this is the grout float. It's basically a hardened foam rubber on a handle. Now, with your other product here, smaller bag, this is a sanded floor grout, floor and wall either one. Uh, again, you mix it with water, you want a putty-like consistency, you don't want it too runny, because this is what goes between all of the tiles, it, it seals it, it gives it that decorative finish that you want. Um, so you want to get, again, a consistency, it's kind of like peanut butter. You want to spread it on uh, with your grout float, coming at a diagonal to make sure that you fill all the lines, go both directions, you're going to go at, at, inter at intersections, you want to go all directions. Um, until you get the entire area covered and then you go back over again and scrape it off and then comes the real nice long slow process of washing it. Your two favorite tools, you're going to spend some time, you really can't see it but my hands are wrinkled from the job 